Welcome back. This is Michelle Mack, and I'm sitting here with Adrian Larea from Syndic Global, and we're talking about why we don't brand the actual company itself. What what does go on, Adrian? Well, you know, it's a this is a this is a funny one, and a lot of people have a hard time understanding this because traditionally in business, a business is branding themselves, um, and the difference between us is since we're opening these local online communities all over the country. Uh, we actually care about the local community, so we are much, much happier to talk about, for example, here in Key West, WEYW Channel 19, where we are right now, one of our affiliated partners, we want to talk about WEYW when we're in Key West, because if we're talking about Syndic Global, who is Syndic Global down here? We don't have relationships, we don't have the money in the marketplace, we don't have the same branding that they've had. So if we can build relationships with the local affiliate sites like the newspapers and the radio stations and the TV stations like this one, then it's a lot easier for us to get accepted into that community. Because one of the hardest things when you're, especially an online company, is to get accepted into the community. It's very tight-knit. A place like Key West, a place like you know uh, South Franklin and, uh, and Cool Springs and Nashville, those are communities that are established and they're working together already, and they're just not working together already online. Mm -hmm. So I'm helping to introduce them that you can only you can not only work together at networking events and you know sharing each other's you know phone numbers and business cards, but you can actually work together online to help bring traffic to a community. So that's the main reason that we don't brand. Uh, we want to talk about the local community. So if we're branding ourselves, we would, in essence, be everybody's direct competition, and that is the complete opposite direction that we want to take things in. It's more of like a marketing resource technology. Right, it is. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a platform, and mm -hmm. the more people that use our platform and more people that use our technology, the more powerful it gets. And we want everybody using it, so we made it free. We're allowing every website to put it on there for free and get all this extra content put on their site to help their site be found more easily online. Um, and we don't brand ourselves, so the sites don't have to feel threatened that some company's trying to come in and, and take their client base. How does this work with Google? Well, how it works with Google, and, and I was t touching on it a little bit before the last commercial break, but how it works is Google's looking for what's called dynamic content. Dynamic content, pictures, videos, links, information, maps, everything about your local business that you've, that you've put together over a period of time, all the social media pages that you're working with, every little bit of content that you have online about your business, that's what Google's reading and indexing. So the more dynamic content you have, and dynamic means that it's changing regularly. Uh, I, I say this all the time and it's one of my favorite expressions is, you can have a Ferrari, but if it doesn't have an engine in it, it's not going to do you much good. And that's the same <laughs> thing with websites these days. You can go spend a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, thirty thousand dollars on a website, but if you're not driving traffic to it and you're not letting the local community find out about it, what is that website really doing for you? So with our network, what it does is we help drive traffic to the websites and drive traffic to the community, but since all of these businesses are, are connected together, think about it almost like when you go to a big trade show. You know those big trade shows right. and the tables are everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you don't go to the trade show just for one business, right? You go because they're all there. You go you because they're all there. All. But what's the first thing that happens when you go in? They give you a bag and then you walk around with that bag and you put all the goodies from the trade show and all the business cards and all the pins and little mini footballs in your bag, right? And at the end of the day, what's in that bag? A bunch of information about a those local businesses, right? <laughs> a lot of stuff, right? Well, what we're doing is we're taking that bag around all of these local websites in a community and saying, hey, here's our great bag of information that we've gathered for you. Would you like to put your sticker on the front of it? Very and, well and put. Exactly, because <laughs> if you think about it like that, we are just doing all the legwork. We're doing the hard stuff. Mm -hmm. And then we're giving all this hard work that we've done, we're giving it to the local websites, mm -hmm. we're giving it to the local businesses, and when a business says, well, how is this, how, how are people going to find me? Well, guess what, guys? This is how people are going to find you. We're on TV right now. We're, we're showing people this concept. We're telling them about it. We're working with the Places newspapers. Places they're already going, like Channel 19 or what other websites. Exactly. I mean, you community have in the sites. Community that you're going to, anyways. Exactly. And, mm -hmm. and so when that information gets indexed, imagine having your business's information and pictures and videos and content mm -hmm. on all these sites around the web. So imagine you're a restaurant and you serve Mexican food, right? 
Well, you have all these pictures and videos and content of your Mexican food, but instead of it just being on your one little lonely website in the middle of the desert, it's on all of these websites around the community. So if someone coming in from out of town, which is really important in Key West, types in Mexican food in Key West, well, right now, you're not guaranteed to find all the local great Mexican food places because all the big websites out there are kind of stealing the thunder. And whoever can afford to be on those sites and who can afford for the most expensive Google AdWords and things like that, which work, mm -hmm. it's not giving the consumer the right information. So by putting your information about your Mexican food restaurant on all these sites, Google is indexing it from all of those sites individually. The more it indexes the information, the, the more, more accessible it is. The, the more accessible mm -hmm. it is to everybody. Mm -hmm. So it's helping every business page by page, word by word, picture by picture. Great. Cool. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I really want one thing that I really wanted to touch on uh, since we're down here in Key West is our affiliate partners A1A Syndication and what they're doing to help the community. Uh, it's a great group of guys and girls that are working together. They have tons of relationships. They're joining, you know, the the local networking chambers and, and, and guilds and everything to all bring everybody together and be able to get the information out faster. Um, I know that they'll, they can flash it out on the screen, but if you go to a1asyndication.com, if you're down in Key West, you can click sign up and they can build you your free ad that day. So you can actually have your ad put on all the sites around your community. I think it's at right. the bottom of the screen right now. You can have all your information sent out to the community instantly today. All you have to do is go to that website right there and click on it and it'll take you, you just hit the sign up button or just give them a call at, the, at their and number. it connects to this whole network. Connects to the there. whole network, not <laughs> even just what's in Key West, what's in sure. Nashville and what's mm -hmm. everywhere. Um, and, and that's what's really, really great about it. So uh, we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit more when we get back from the commercial break.